Today we're jumping into the most outrageous Karen and Kevin clips this week. You're gonna wanna hold on to your hats because these people are about to blow you away. Let's get into it. I'm taking my s off so I, that if she told me I can just I'm in, I'm, okay. I'm, I'm in room right. yeah. 4 or 5. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Right. 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 I'm like the end of the year. I'm in the end of the year. We have okay. Alright. Take a look at this unhinged guy having some road rage moment while his wife tries to calm him down. Help me out and move. Karen hits this lady's car while swerving lanes, but when the lady confronts her about it, Karen has the audacity to say she didn't hit anything. Even when the lady mentions there's a recording, Karen doesn't care and keeps saying she didn't do it. Was he driving your vehicle? He was driving your car. Go look at the car. I was behind you, not in front of you. We recorded it. Okay, then show me. Because I was behind you, not in front of you. You swerved in the lane. I, I understand you were in the car. I understand you were in the front. But I didn't hit your car. I you was did hit. Back. He hit. He was driving your well, car. You I weren't hit? driving. Where did I hit? Does he Check out this guy throwing a hissy fit while his supervisor attempts to calm him down. April of Veronica like that, but you got the I'm your to supervisor. Like I don't care. Record it. You don't care that I'm your supervisor and I'm just telling you to calm down so we can go back to the warehouse. I'm not getting the dude. Don't okay, leave. if you okay, the close plate. the door then. Close the door, Johnny. You can record me all you want to. Then close the door. This is my second time saying close the door. Oh what? Nothing. Close the door, Johnny. Oh, what? Johnny, close what? the door. You got a, you been had a problem with me. Step out the car and handle it. Close the door, Johnny. So I thought. You wanna go do shit. Okay, Johnny, I'm not gonna do nothing. I'm at work. Oh, close was, the door. That's the that was the same shit you said in my face the last time. Close the door, Johnny. Should I should drag your ass out this car right now. Close the door, Johnny. You get out of close the door. Yeah, he walked off. I got the whole recording, so. <sighs> Left him, right here, on the airfield. This woman was returning to her vehicle only to be confronted by another lady having a total meltdown at her. The reason being that her mother is disabled, and they couldn't find a disabled parking spot because somebody who wasn't disabled had taken it. Upon returning to her vehicle, she was confronted by this lady and completely put in her place, exposed for parking where she wasn't allowed to be. That was your parking? Yeah, I'm so sorry. Yeah. Hey, there's no reason to be yeah, that way. My mom's handicapped and she couldn't get in. I'm sorry. You should be. You're a Having a great day. Okay. You're, you're acting that way to a bunch of 19 year olds? Yes. My mom had to stand here for 20 god minutes. She's had a hip replacement because your jack couldn't find a parking spot. Have some respect. Thank you. Yeah, don't do that to yourself, ma'am. Man, you just don't know how lucky you are. What? 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 If I didn't have children, I would whoop your <laughs> from one end of this parking lot to the other. Go right ahead. Go right ahead, ma'am. I hope you have a wonderful day. Jesus Christ. All right, let's just take a moment. Did you grab yes. that? Oh my God! <laughs> Alright, let me just make sure I was recording. Oh, I was recording. Here we have Kevin who is mad at this guy for deadlifting too loud.
Karen marches into a closed phone repair shop, asserting her demands for immediate phone fixing. But her mood takes a hit when reality sets in and a quick fix isn't possible. I'm sorry, I can't. We're closed. I need my phone fixed today. I can't. We're closed. We, like, I don't have enough time. I can't go without my phone. How much you want? I'll pay you whatever you want. What you it's need? Not, gonna... It's not about money. I'll pay you extra for your time. It's not about... I need my phone. I can't go without it. I... We don't. What kind of phone is it? We don't even have the screen for. It. I can't do this tonight. I'm you sorry. I have to do it. I cannot go without my phone. I can't. You have to fix my phone. I can't go without my phone. Like I don't have that screen. It's impossible. I'll get one. I don't care what you gotta do. Get my phone fixed. Monday is the earliest. No Monday. I, I can't wait. Go. You have to leave. I'm sorry. And no, take I'm your. Not leaving. You. In this clip, we have a guy who attempts to show off his toughness by trying to tear a protester's sign in half. Little did he know, his opponent might have been more than he bargained for. A lot of engineers who could help you. I, I am putting this to buzz. Oh my god. Oh. <laughs> hey, genius, why don't you take the lid off? Take the lid off. To pry it open. There you go. You needed a liberal to help you with that, dude. You're too stupid to figure it out on your own. Go throw it away. No, please. You've worked so hard. Throw it away. You've worked so hard. We've done it together. Come on, we're bonded now. Come on, you can do it. You're so close. You're so close. Try the other one. Look, there's no lid on that one. Come on, you can do it. There's no lid on that one. Come on, do it for the boys. They're not so proud of you right now. Don't you want to make them proud? Come on, oh, you're going to oh, keep it? God, oh, it. Keep it under your pillow. Oh, you oh come on. It. Okay, you did say that, and I did okay. say that. Okay, just bring your money in. That's what I'm trying to do. Check out this weird situation where a kid gets turned away from a restaurant for not following the dress code, but there's another kid inside wearing the exact same thing. Trying to explain this one is going to be tough. I'm sorry, ma'am. Someone's already explained it to you. Okay, tell this to me again. You're telling me we cannot eat here? So, un unfortunately, we do have a dress code. Um, if you, you know, if you have some non-athletic shorts. But that white kid out there can't eat here with his tennis shoes on and his athletic shirt. Allowed tennis shoes, but not not athletic shorts and t-shirts. He has one. You you telling me that's not an athletic shirt? Not that one. But you telling me that little boy who just ate here does not have one an athletic shirt? I'm sorry. I would love, I would love for you to be able to come back and eat. So you telling me my son can't eat here because he has one athletic stuff? No, no, just the shorts. I just. So it is it is part of our dress code we try to so it's it. only his shorts only the short can't be athletic the shorts and the t-shirt yes. but the little boy has on an athletic t the little white kid that just sat out there had on an athletic athletic tennis shoes and an athletic shirt i i understand that you're upset if there's any no it's not that i'm upset the little boy out there had on athletic you telling me it's no athletic way the little boy out there had on athletic tennis shoes and an athletic shirt so why does he get to wear athletic wear and my son can't? I, I, again, I would love for you to be able to come back. Are you, do you live close enough for your son to change? No, I don't. I just want to know why it's different for my son. I, I understand how you feel. I, I, I don't want you to sympathize with me. I just want you to tell me why it's different for my son. I'm not looking for sympathy. I'm just tell, asking no. you why it's different for my son. I, I understand. Then that little kid that was out there with a athletic tennis shoes, 
And we the the t-shirt that the little kid was wearing, we don't consider that to be athletic t-shirt. Why? I honestly I did not get a good look, but it it looked like a regular t-shirt. I have a video. Do you want to see it? If you would like to show it to me, I'm happy to look, but I I I, I do Take a look at this confrontational Karen arguing with these people outside the store. Um, I don't know. She has a jacket. I'm sweet. You ain't not the caramel nasty. Um, I don't know. She just came into store. Hey, and then... Gang banging. Gang banging me. Hell. Boy, what the f*** you? Meth is a hell of a drug. Yes. This Kevin refused to wear a mask, and when denied service, he became aggressive and started screaming at the employees. We're abolishing health department. Health department's over. Don't listen to them. A governor had her too. Both of them. Don't worry about them. I have freedom. I have rights. Serve the people. I have the right to not Yeah, but you have your rights. I'm not forcing you. You're forcing me. I am free. I can't. I'm gonna have to call. Call who you need to, but I'm just saying, it's the law with the health department. No, it's not. They're breaking the law. You're following them. I'm not. Sir. I have free. Okay. Serve my sandwich. I don't need to serve. Yes, you do. No, I don't. I'm here. Yes, you do. No, it's my sir. restaurant. It's two late. Sir, my sandwich right there. I'm she told me. She already served it, so. I'm not going to serve you. I'm sorry. I need you to go. No, I want my sandwich. I'm sorry. I want you to I want a sandwich. I want you to wear a mask. No, I'm not wearing a mask. Okay. I need to breathe. Imagine claiming a delivery driver didn't complete their job, but you didn't order the service in the first place. Look at this crazy sh man. Like, like, for real, bro. She want me to hit her. No, I just want you to put the refrigerator in the house. We can't lift that thing. We don't even have a dolly. We'll go down to the Home Depot, rent a truck, and pick one up and bring it up. Right. Check out this scene where a Karen and Kevin get into it with a guy who's filming the McDonald's drive through They ask him to stop, but he refuses, saying it's public property. Things heat up when Kevin steps out of his car with a bat, ready to confront him. Hey, hey how's it going? Oh, uh, there's no expectation to see your privacy in public. Hey, man, don't do that. I'm at the Macy if you come over here, man. Don't that. There's no expectation to see your privacy. I'm over here. Hey, I'm Get recording. The camera out of my hey, back up, man. I'm out. I'm out to make Get you. Get the f out of here, dude. It's, pro it's uh, public I property. Do I, don't I could be here. I'm doing an audit for McDonald's. Okay, then stay in. The Roll up your windows. I can't see if you have your windows up. I don't give a f the me camera is not good. If you roll up your windows, I can't see you. you. Hey, bro. I have to make you if you do that. I don't want to do that. I don't want to do that. It's public property. Photography is not a crime, man. I'm not going near you, bro. Just go in your car and roll up your windows. I can't see. Go ahead. They can't do nothing about it. Public property. Photography is not a crime. I'm doing the audit for McDonald's. I am not here for you. I'm here to audit the McDonald's.
All right, almost got hit with a freaking bat, guys. I had to keep stepping back. Pulled out my mace. I'm an auditor. This is what it's about. It's an audit. Uh, this is what it's about. You, I can't see your kids. I have no idea there's kids in there. Like I said, you can't see them. Stop doing that. You're going to get arrested. You're, you're going to get arrested. You attack me. That's called assault. And it's being recorded. You, you're going to get your kids taken away for doing something stupid. I do not. All of this because some random guy was filming him in a drive through And on top of that, he is also holding up the whole drive through line, too. Your is timid. I can't see off your camera. I don't need to. It's public place. property. Get the yeah. And then you're going to have to go to court and pay for this. An audit for what? It's called the audit. First Amendment audit. Look it up. It's not illegal. It's not illegal. I wouldn't be able to see you if you had your windows up. The camera cannot record that good. Do whatever you want, man. I'm doing whatever I want. This is my job, man. Okay, I don't, and I don't care about you. Go on with your day, man. Got some onlookers over there, too. Don't put your kids in danger. Just drive away. Don't put your kids in danger. You could get your kids taken away for assaulting somebody. Just go in your car and drive away. It's not worth it, man. Just drive away. Man, that got heated quick. Oh my God. Full saying I'm recording his kids. You can't even see his kids with the tinted windows. The guy's a lunatic. And not even a, a couple of seconds I come over here and this fool's already getting all mad. Saying to call the cops. I'm saying go ahead and call the cops. The fool's a psycho, man. Now I'm going to have to watch my back. Man, I'm going to go live on this one, man. Crazy. I'm not going anywhere. It's, pro it's public property. I could be wherever I want to be. It's a free country. It's okay, and then you'll be charged for assault, and you could get in trouble, and your kids could get taken away. There's no expectations of privacy in public. It's not a crime. Learn your laws. Up next, we delve into a major altercation involving a passerby and a Domino's employee. They engage in a heated exchange of insults, escalating the situation to an intense level. Let's have a look. Do something, take my picture! Stay I'm there, taking bro. your Take picture. your f***ing don't, picture! Don't run your mouth. You f*** off! Who you running your mouth, dude? Did I, I don't do it! Did I swear at you? Because you Why started you it too! You f*** off! You f*** off! You are f***ing You are f***ing no off! You are pussy! You are pussy! You are pussy! You are pussy! You are pussy. You are pussy. Pussy. You are pussy. You are. Watch, I will see you. Watch, I'll see you in Domino's. Off. 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 This crazy Karen breaks into a kitchen, starts screaming at the workers, and goes on to make her own coffee. And just when you think it can't get wilder, she accuses them of being racist and starts wrecking everything in sight.
Here's your two dollars, you stupid racist. Let me put three of them five belts. I'm inside making my coffee like Tim Hortons told me to. You stupid. Fuck you, you guys all up. Stupid. Keep filming me. I have you on camera being racist. You stupid. Now I'll never come back here. This know-it-all manager found himself in a hated confrontation with another employee when things escalated quickly. They went back and forth between each other in their faces before claiming all sorts of nonsense towards each other and the other party even threatening to quit as it was her second job. Let's have a look. I want you to go home. I don't care if I have to be here till 12. Stop trying to clock back in. I want you to clock out and leave the store. So you gonna what you gonna do about that? Huh? What you gonna do about that? I'm gonna call Miss Cheryl and tell her to get you. Okay, I'm gonna call Miss Cheryl myself. Let's go play with me. You being you being ignorant? Oh no, you must be some pot or something. Oh no, oh my God, man. For real, like stop playing with me on the cool. Cause you don't even supposed to be here. All the money you just sold, like. Oh my God, what you talking about? While trying to install a wind fairing for his roof rack, this guy chose an open parking spot with many vacant spaces around. Soon after this, Karen arrived and decided to park near his car and became irate, complaining that his car's door was too close to hers. I come to this open parking spot, very open, no one around me. I park here, There's, this car was not here. All I want to do is install a wind fairing on the roof of my car because my roof rack has been making some noise. This thing. Take me 10 minutes. I just pulled up. My door's open because I'm reaching to the top to the right side. This one as well. This one wasn't open. And then Karen in this crazy van <laughs> comes and wants to park right next to me and tells me to close my door. So I ask her politely if she could just park in any one of these open parking spots. 
I'm under here because there's shelter and it's raining. I just want to do this real fast and then I'm on my way. I live right down the street. And she insists on recording me and telling me that I'm being ridiculous. And she wants to park here. And I just asked her, she said she lives right here. And I asked her if she could park in any one of these because none of these parking spots are assigned. It's actually closer for her. This girl, this lady right here. But she insists with my door open on parking right next to me, making it an issue. For whatever reason, she wants to do this. I asked her to leave. She would not leave. Now this is what's happening. I called the non-emergency line to come out. She was standing in front of my car recording me the whole entire time for about five minutes straight, just recording me. I'm asking her to leave. I said, okay, you're done. Leave me alone. She would not leave. Now she goes and doesn't want to be recorded. Starts to walk away when I called the cops. She calls the cops, that's who she's apparently on the phone with, and told them I was harassing her when I was parked here first. And she parked next to me and got out and started recording me antagonizing me. Play victim now, Karen. Idiot. Karen's back for more. She just can't stop. She can't go get over herself and just leave. She's insanely sad. It's crazy. What's your name? I don't have to give you my name. I'm doing nothing wrong. Yeah, I'm minding my own business, Karen. Why don't you go home? You have nothing better to do? I don't care if you laugh. You're so insane. People like you what the causes all this stuff. You parked here on purpose because you saw me just doing here. I'm going to be gone in five minutes. Things seem to come to a head here. <laughs> Yeah, and all I asked you was to find another, if you can please politely, or wait, you could have waited. My door's open because I'm literally, I need it open to get into and reach this side. I That's it. Here. You That's don't. it. It doesn't matter. Yeah, I live right here. here. What does that matter? You live here, then you know that there's a million other parking spots. You're entitled to this? Your self entitlement yes. is crazy. No, I Generational trauma is ridiculous. Your, your dad didn't love you or what? Your mom didn't love you? Your mom and dad didn't love you? You're ridiculous. Don't you go do something. Go do something pro pro productive with your time. Your vocabulary is lovely. Yeah. Care. You're so annoying. Cops just told me I'm cool to stay here. And now they're talking to her. Hopefully they tell her to just relax. And leave me alone. That's all I want is leave me alone. Mom's done. You got it on. Kind of. It's a little crooked, but you know, you figure it out. This Karen even starts to cry in front of these police officers. Oh my gosh, she's crying. She's crying. She's crying, guys. She's crying. I didn't do anything. Waterworks. They're trying to get the point across to her through her thick skull. She parked here on purpose, that's it. So she's trying to get the point to her through her thick skull that like, dude, I'm doing nothing wrong, ain't no problem. She's mad at me for filming her, but she put her camera out first and keep recording me for hella days before I even started recording. Damn, these crazy old ladies be tripping. They weren't loved by their parents. Anyways. I wish a Karen would.